Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to this trial of brand new products. I actually have a bunch of new products on my face and hair and I'm trying them out to see if I actually like them or not. I'm trying to come up with this like graphic liner idea with my new eye shape that kind of I can do really quickly and look really effective but also like save myself time. A witch! But still look like me girls! And I'm kind of trying this like Mugler-esque top. <laughs> Actually just a crop blazer, but it kind of fits with the theme. Uh. So my lovelies, welcome today to another episode of Extreme Makeover Plastic Surgery Edition. This series has been quite uh, unpredictable, should we say. It seems that everyone's story who comes on this show is wildly different from each other, but there's always this like underlying current of this sort of thing happened to them when they were growing up or in childhood. Maybe that's related to like bullying or body issues in some way or another. Nothing like it. And then as adults, they apply to go on this show, which is also somehow nominated by friends and family to get upwards of 10 plastic surgeries in order to have an extreme plastic surgery makeover. <gasps> Wow. Did you know this was actually the first ever iteration of the Extreme Makeover genre? The Extreme Makeover Home Edition, which I know features Ty, who we've seen a few times in Trading Spaces. Home Edition was actually the second iteration. I don't know how, how it moved from plastic surgery to home makeovers, but there we go. Unfortunately, this show has been scrubbed from the internet and I would love access to more episodes because it's bonkers. It is the first extreme plastic surgery reality TV show of its kind kind. And actually, apart from the narrator, generally the storylines on this show are actually quite uplifting. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But saying that, my lovelies, in the last episode we watched of Extreme Makeup and Plastic Surgery Edition, Dr. Phil nominated a former contestant on his show in a weight loss segment to have 12 plastic surgeries with Dr. Ron Perlman. I'm a professional woman. One of the top comments on that video is by Rhinestoner420. No, they. And they say, I'd love to see Luxaria roast Mr. Phil. <laughs> because, you know, he's not actually a doctor. Apparently, Dr. Phil has just finished his, like, television career, I guess. Or at least the show as we know it has finished. So I am absolutely going to get a couple of episodes together. Maybe we can make it a series, depending on how well it does, girls. And critique some of the absolute monstrosity television that is Dr. Phil. So my lovelies, with that being said, today we are going to be watching another episode of John Perlman MD's Doctor Extreme Makeover Plastic Surgery for Karen. This lady's name is Karen. I want to talk to the manager girl. I just can't wait to see how this turns out. All right, my lovelies, get your beverages at the ready. Today I am on the Lewis Hamilton Monstrage. Mm. And let's watch Extreme Makeover Girls. Tonight's first extreme makeover She's a train driver. lives in the small town of Wilson, Arkansas. Wilson, Arkansas. So I am Confucian. America explain! Erin Lindley is 44 years old and about to be married for the second time. Pretty. That is so pretty. I'm sorry. Oh. Right. I would love to be a pretty bride. I'd love to walk in here all dutied up and looking 10 years younger. Oh! But she does look gorgeous. She's got a real like classical beauty about her. I actually quite like this hairstyle. I think it suits her really well. Anyhow, Karen Lindley is going to get married and what she is going to do is have an extreme makeover plastic surgery edition before her wedding day. Does, is this the prequel then? Is this like the origin story of bridalplasty? Stab! Is this where it came from, do you think? Do you think there were several guests that went on to extreme makeover and then someone sitting at home, no guesses who, Nelly Galan, the pageant girls, would have been sitting at home going, ah, ah. I spy with my little eye plastic surgery before a wedding day. Bridal plastic girls. Okay, Karen Lindley, what's gonna happen next? Karen's dry sense of humor masks her true feelings about her appearance. I've always stood back a little bit if I was in the crowd of women that I thought were prettier than me. Okay, the first that's thing relatable. I think when I meet somebody is, I wonder if they're looking at my nose. My goodness, do you know the other day I saw a, I think it was an Instagram reel of a TikTok and they were like, there used to be a phone that was just in the house and it used to be stuck to the wall and anyone could use it, it was a whole family phone. And I was like, oh my gosh, have we come this far that people don't know what landlines are anymore? <gasps> 
I'm not ready. I am not ready. I wish we didn't have to pay line rental for internet in the UK though. Unhinged. Is that tea? I mate somebody is. I wonder if they're so big. Well, you could brick someone with I've that telephone handle. Breast surgeries. They've left me a little uneven. Make sure you write in this box I so we can I'd watch you. Nicer, and I would like to. Blake supports like Karen's nicer. decision to have an extreme makeover, even though he, he won't see his fiance until she walks down the aisle. Love to be that pretty. I love the fact that this is edited so strangely because it's on Dr. Ron Perlman's YouTube channel, and I think I think actually when he uploaded this, there was probably still like a 10-minute limit on YouTube videos. So this is why the, every single episode that we've watched is about nine minutes and 58 seconds. This one today is nine minutes and 57 seconds so I'm assuming they have to splice it up to put it on his channel because he probably wasn't a partner back in the day and that's how you got access to longer than 10 minute videos oh. I've cracked the code oh, girl. girl she's got a degree back of course her husband or fiance husband to be is like, yes, my love, go off and get an extreme makeover, yes! Uh, because he's going to get to... I was going to say something absolutely hateful then. I was gonna... He's going to get to make little kisses to a brand new lady under the veil. Beyond the veil. She's not dead. A oh. dead body. I'd like to have that. She'd like to be oh, feel no. lovely on her wedding day. I think that's great. Karen's dream about is about to like come that. true. You're leaving for Los Angeles. No! Oh, heck, oh give my you god! An Can you imagine your bridal? What do they call them? Bridal organizer? Bridal gown advisor? No. What do you call these people who work in like bridal shops? Bridal attendants? <laughs> imagine your dress lady being like, ah, ah, a bra lift. Oh. And bring you home just before your wedding. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes. It's so bit terrifying. Yes. 24 hours oh. later. 24 hours later, she's going to fly on the beach. Karen is off to meet the first member of the extreme team, Dr. John Perlman. Dr. Perlman, girl. Welcome to Beverly Hills. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So I wonder if we're watching loads of different episode like editing styles from lots of different seasons of Extreme Makeover because every time we've been introduced to Dr. Ron Perlman, he's been like, Introduced in a different way. So there he had for like 0.8 of a second because you know editing it's time. Strange. We have this here, which is like, oh, it's got a blueprint on it and it's on style, girls. It's fashion. Beverly Hills practice for 23 years. A clinical assistant professor at the UCLA Medical Center. She must, that must mean something very important to these ladies. She's got a degree. Nice to meet you. Good Tell good. me how I can help you. Uh, I'm always trying to have an show. A nose job? Oh, yes. Okay. Got that from my grandmother. He is quite scary. In your case, I would not only want to lower the, the bony part of the bump, mm -hmm. but I'll probably need to borrow some cartilage from an area that you don't need it yep. in the septum and put what's called a strut in a strut. to keep your tip from falling back in. Ooh, as an the, elevated as the bridge is tip. You ever have a feeling that the skin is hanging on your eyes and affecting your Especially vision? Especially in the morning. The therapy. Yeah. Get up, puppy. Okay. Of just a small bit of fatty promise more on the left than the right, at least at this point in time. And we can take that out through a little incision on the line. You know, the one thing that I do really like about watching Dr. Palman like go about a consultation is he's really gentle. He's really gentle. I don't get the vibe that he's hateful. I don't get the vibe that there's he's gonna say anything untoward. I mean, in some of the other plastic surgery shows, Dr. 90210 with Dr. Ray is the one that pops out of my head that he's like, Oh, tits, girl. We got a nation of breastless women, girls. Titties. I'm really feminine because I love titties. Stop it. Get some help. And it's like, oh. But I feel like Dr. John Perlman has a wonderful bedside manner. And I don't think I would mind too much if he was my plastic surgeon. I mean, he's probably, gosh, how old is he there? Maybe like 50? Oh, dear. This was like 22 years ago. So he's... Probably well into his 70s by now. Well, this is awkward. Oh, oh, that's kind of strange. I've had six breast surgeries for fibroadenomas. I have an A and a B. I'd like them equaled out. She's I'd had like six a nice breast C. Surgeries. I don't want anything that looks, uh, just something to balance my hips. Now, a nice C could mean a small C, which is conservative, or a full C, which is almost a D, and that's somewhat, somewhat top heavy, but maybe acceptable if you have adequate skin for it. I don't want to be top heavy. She does not want that. See? He listened. How useful is that?
So when I went into my breast surgery consultation, I actually had the same similar sort of idea here is that like, I don't want to look at a place. I don't want my, I don't want to be top heavy. I want something to match the proportions of my shoulders and my hips. And I feel like that's such a sensible way to approach breast augmentation. And I'm so glad that he wasn't like, you should go bigger girls, big titty lady videos on the internet. Um, I may have left something out. So if you have any questions, I'm happy. Okay. I hide it in photographs. Now, what I see here is a combination of some extra skin and a modest, not a large enough, but a modest amount of fat. Mm -hmm. okay. What I would recommend that we do is with a couple of hidden incisions, tiny incisions here, do a little liposuction. Yes. Not only remove some of that fat, but it tends to stimulate some skin shrinkage. Ooh! So I have had something known as aqualix underneath my chin here because when I put on weight, I very much get... It, it kind of collects here. It collects here and it collects right on the, the fupa area. <laughs> now it can be quite difficult to understand like what the difference is under here if it is loose skin. If it's loose skin, Aqualix is not going to help because Aqualix is like an injectable that dissolves fat. I did swell up and it was obscene, but I actually feel like it made quite a big difference. I mean, I have had my chin moved since that <laughs> procedure. <laughs> But I could honestly feel a difference. And I can still feel the difference now because I have a little tiny pocket of fat here because you can't put Aqualix on the face. It can only go into the, like this tiny area here. I can feel it a little bit where there's like a bit more cushion here, but there's like nothing in the middle where it's been dissolved. But you'd never be able to tell. So I think there's a relatively good benefit and very small risk in doing that. So he made me feel very comfortable. He walked in and greeted me, looked me in the eye, all the things that the good doctors do. Answered the questions, didn't make me feel intimidated at all. That's I was so very good. comfortable. He gets an A plus from a nurse. That's pretty good. Oh, she's a nurse. Of course no, she is. I was talking over Karen her when she was getting a nose job. Oh, God. Bro lip. Oh, my nurse, God. Right, okay. Good. You ready, everyone? Are you ready? No, it's... Karen is getting a nose job. Karen is getting a, a nose job. A brow lift. Removed from her eyelids and chin and breast implants. This morning. Oh, Karen. That's actually quite like a reserved amount of surgery for one of these shows. Right. So she's getting a brow lift, fat removed, nose job, fat removed under the chin and also a breast augmentation. So I want you to listen to this guy's voice, though, because doesn't he sound like um, the guy who was on... There's something about Miriam. Actually, does he? Similar sort of tone, I think. Very military. Oh, be me in, ladies. No. Karen is getting a nose job, a brow lift, the fat removed from her eyelids and chin, and breast implants. That's quite a sense of, like, Karen I'm not flabbergasted by that amount of surgery. Even though it's quite a lot of surgery for just, like, an average person to have, I'm not like gagged at the pageant from the amount of surgery there. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Compared to what we have seen before, where Laurie on the Swan was given 21, 21 plastic surgeries over two days. Like, what? Deranged. Karen is headed to Beverly Hills for Beverly plastic Isles. surgery. I'm not nervous. I'm Imagine being picked up for surgery in a limousine. I'll be glad when the pain's is over, then it'll, get, it'll be fun. And I'll be glad to go back. Yeah, this is all for a wedding as well, isn't it? It's very bridal plastic. Then Dr. Perlman marks Ooh. Karen for surgery. Oh, marked at the pageant. Dr. Perlman begins Karen's surgery with the breast implants. And it's done through the simple incision in the underarm. The incision lined up being about an inch in size. I Ooh. like to place the saline filled implant under the pectoral muscle. It makes it smoother, much more natural looking. So he said that, I think he said that he was going in through the armpit through an incision there which i know you can do but apparently it's like not the favorable way of doing a breast augmentation anymore i had um bilateral is that what it's called i think it's called bilateral like i've got two scars on the underside of each breast in like the crease fold <laughs> where i had my implants put in the, apparently you can also like go up through the belly button as well if i guess you've got like I don't know. I don't know how on earth that can work. I would love to see it in one of these shows, but we have yet to watch that. That. That's nice there. What is Next the size? Is the brow lift. A brow lift, girls. The incision, so that it'll help to camouflage the scar once the hair right is Right in the hairline. Now, Dr. Perlman removes the fat from Karen's chin and eyes. The fat, girls. So much oh, more rested her, oh, and more life and younger, yes. more youthful. Move the turkey. Finally, he moves on to her nose. The nose. Using this cartilage to enhance the shape of her tip. Where did she take the cartilage from? Oh, Needle in the eyeball, girl. 
of the Oh, there line. she is. And, uh, she's going to be very pleased once whatever swelling is present uh, goes away. One. So I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish we'd known where the cartilage is coming from for the nose job. So my boyfriend has had two nose jobs, not for cosmetic reasons, for breathing reasons, and they took the cartilage from the back of the ear, and he's got like a really sort of like mild scar on the back of the ear, but it's such a like interesting way. Like how did we ever, like who, who came up with that? Amazing. Um, Lady Gaga. A week after surgery. A week ago. and Sandra are well enough to travel to Dr. Perlman's office. Oh, there she is. Today. I do not miss having to wear that compression band around my face. No, no. I think a lot of people don't actually talk about like the discomfort of healing from surgery. Technically, yes, the surgery is quite like an aggressive, abrasive process. Oh my God. <laughs> Excessively abrasive and hostile. But actually, one of the sort of like longer term annoyances of healing from surgery is like being bandaged in weird positions. So when you have like face surgery, especially if you have anything down here that requires like the skin to rejoin to the bone or the muscle to rejoin to the bone, you have to wear a really tight headband practically all day, every day and sleep at like a 45 degree angle. And after a while you are like, I just want to rip this off, girl. This is so annoying. Death. I've actually slept really funny last night and I've really hurt my neck. So I'm like, ah, I can't move like this anymore, girls. She's dead. Okay, Karen, seven days after surgery. Hey, they will see their new faces uncovered for the first time. Let's have a look. Oh my Boy, gosh. Your neck already looks so much better. Mm -hmm. I'm really yeah, you always happy swell that. before it looks better. Love better the new that. position of your eyebrows as well. I actually have eyebrows. Yeah. Well, it's so quite exciting, aren't they? Excellent. And that swelling goes down more, it's going to really be gorgeous. This is the Work. examination I looked forward to the most Ooh, because... Oh, interesting. Okay. He still kind of kept a little bit of her natural nose shape there. That's an interesting decision. I actually quite like that. I feel like with nose jobs, there's a tendency to want like the pussiest nose ever. I know that's exactly what I went for, but I didn't want it to be too extreme. I wanted a very... Very, very delicate rhinoplasty. I didn't want the most dramatic nose change ever. I didn't want the Jodie Marsh. I didn't want the Jessica Alves. I didn't want any of that, no. And I feel like rhinoplasty is one of those things that because you don't see the results fully for like a year and a half, I still haven't seen the, the final results of mine. I've got a little bit of swelling on my cartilage here still. I feel like it bridges the gap between like science and art because you kind of have to predict how something's going to heal. So I really like the fact that he's left a little bit of like, like a classical nose shape for her. And I bet over time that will continue to reduce and probably straighten out a little bit more. But that looks so, that's, that's so good. Because if he'd have given her like the pussiest little ski slope nose ever, it might have looked really out of place with the rest of her features. Look at my nose. It was the one feature that I, I have wanted fixed my whole life. Oh. I've seen that big nose since I was in the fifth grade. You can marry, you can. I don't know. You don't I have to. Nose is such a <gasps> thing, oh, aren't they? I have a print of her picture that we might want to show the before. That is so great. Good. I'm so happy too. And it's just going to look better and better. It's like looking at someone else. Although you know it's you, it, it's like looking in the mirror and seeing. It's like her nose, but a softer, want to look like, like softer version of her look nose. Your nose. Oh, I love it. Now, Dr. Perlman checks Karen's new breasts. All right, the breasts. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and not a solitary bruise. Thank you. Oh, she's got gorgeous titties, girl. I can't believe that I'm here. I don't know why I was chosen, but it's a wonderful gift. I appreciate it. Do you see what I mean when I say that this show, I feel like actually, aside from like the language surrounding the show and some of the language that the narrator uses, although on this specific episode, we haven't actually seen bad narration as such, like really aggressive, unfriendly narration. Uh like extreme makeover was really groundbreaking because it did actually provide how am i gonna say this like it provided people who might not necessarily have the means to be able to afford this level of transformation an opportunity at it and it's like sure i guess it could be a bit overboard like some of the people don't need 17 plastic surgeries 
time for a brow lift. <laughs> but for Karen here to have like a modest amount of surgery in comparison to any of the other shows that we've seen, and she's having such a like positive, profound reaction, is actually quite nice to see, dare I say it? Oh no! <laughs> That's nice there! This was Karen Lindley seven this weeks ago before is your her extreme her. makeover. Extreme. I'd love to be a pretty bride. I'd love to walk in there all duty up and look in 10 years younger. I wanted to stand beside that handsome groom and be a pretty bride. Back in Wilson, Arkansas, the gosh, normal I wedding day jitters are magnified Ooh, by knowing that Blake has no idea what Karen looks like. Oh, one thing's my heart rates probably Oh, is it the reveal already? God, these are so quick. I'm marrying the man of my dream. I, I wanted to see the hairdresser. I like the hairdresser. Beautiful gown, new face and body. I can walk down the aisle knowing that I look the absolute best I ever have in my life. It's gonna finally. Oh, here she is. Oh, she's got a runway. Oh, bride. America's next top scandal. I'm gonna give her a big hug and tell her I love her. Brett Lindley is a, a child. I can't wait to see the dress. She has described it to me. Ooh, she's got nine bumpets in. Bump it up with bumpets. Get that salon style look fast and easy. Like an Oscar winning dress. I can't wait to please. I okay. Karen's been gone seven weeks, not that I'm counting. <laughs> then when it got down to 100 hours and. Oh, wait. So she was away for seven weeks whilst recovering from plastic surgery. I guess that's kind of shocking, isn't it? What do they. Do they go into a house or something on this show? I feel like they do, don't, don't they? On the full episodes that we've seen on this channel, they have like like an LA mansion that they go and stay in and there's usually two people per episode. Am I right in saying that? One stone a month. I still find it kind of odd and a little bit strange though, girls, that the partner doesn't really go through any sort of transformation. The Basically, the, the, the contestant on this show goes off, has like a life-changing experience, access to top medical surgeons and surgeries go and then comes back to their like ordinary life i find that quite jarring although we have seen an episode in which i think it was a husband took it upon himself that might have actually been bridalplasty i think it was bridalplasty that the the husband the fi the fiance that one of allison um, went off and did his own little like mini transformation while she was away which i kind of like all the problems of bridalplasty aside i love the fact that like partners supporting partners more energy, please. We need that. It is kind of strange that she's going to be this hot, gorgeous, blonde bombshell on her wedding day. And then her, her fiancé is just going to be like, I'm the same. Da, 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 da. Is that tea? It's like plucked out of your normal surroundings, given the Hollywood treatment, and then just like put back. It's really strange. They'd ask me at the hospital, how right, long here we go. I'm going to be gone? I'd say, Blake. 98 hours. <laughs> Blake's wait is finally over. And so is everyone else's. The wedding is about to begin. The wedding goes, oh. Oh my gosh. Talk about like 20 years younger. Is this the same woman? Yes, and also no. That is, that is so, that is witchcraft. A witch. That is absolute witchcraft. Also, that pink blush is very strong. <laughs> he can't believe his luck. Her child is like, what? What? That's not the same. This can't. That's not the same woman. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Shut up. Yes, it is. No, my I'm a flabbergasted. Mind you, a good spray tan will do that. Here comes the gal. Oh, get a good look. He's like, who is that woman? <laughs> She literally looks I'm like mid twenties. And then all of a sudden, she was right there under the earth. And my first instinct was to look around that pretty girl and see where Karen was. But it was obvious real soon that, that was Karen. Karen, will I'm, you take I'm not even sure. Your wedded husband, in sickness and in health, in adversity and in prosperity. I cannot believe how different she looks. And to be true a good to him, face framing layer so and a warm live. highlight. I do. Well. One of my buddies was here and he's like, you look pretty. And I was like, oh man, when we go to bars and stuff now, they're gonna say, dude, your mom's hot. <laughs> I was looking at her and I was so happy Hilarious for her. Stuff. I was so, be she's beautiful. I'm she actually jealous now. Wild. <laughs> Karen had enough. Right, let's have a little look-see. 
gosh. Okay. Right, so her nose has definitely straightened out since the seven day operation afterwards. I'm guessing that this would have been another like six weeks after because obviously she would have had to have been returned for the wedding. So as I mentioned earlier, I expected her nose would like straighten out a little bit more. It definitely has. Her cheekbones are so much higher. I mean, she is smiling and in the other one and in the other photo on the left and before she's not actually smiling. So I wonder if that could be like studio trickery girls. I'm a professional woman. Oh, job. Brow lift. A brow lift. Liposuction under Lipo. her chin. Breast implants. LASIK eye surgery. Oh. Her teeth whitened. Oh. And her hair colored and oh. styled. She had LASIK. We weren't told about that, were we? And teeth whitening, which is actually a nice step in a different direction instead of going, Da Vinci veneers, go. Da Vinci? Which I am always here to say, please don't. Just don't do all that. Well, you can do whatever you want, actually. Extreme makeover has made her That's a beautiful, wild. beautiful woman. I'm guessing what happened? The free honeymoon? We've flown there courtesy of Air Jamaica. Oh, a Jamaican honeymoon, girls. Many times I've awakened in the middle of the night and thought, why did this happen to me? Things like this don't happen. She looks about 18 She's years old. She's a girl from the country. But it's a dream come true. That lip gloss is and a nice I am choice still as well. just the girl from the country. Not anymore, this girl. This is only the Internet beginning for Karen and Sam. Oh, apparently there was somebody else involved over that, but we didn't see them. She's dead. Well, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts. Isn't it nice when you watch a show that doesn't make you want to end it all after it finishes? <laughs> What a nice change! Usually on this Chanel, my loves, after everything that we watch together here in the watch parties, there's some sort of like, I cannot believe this happened. Oh my God, why are we even doing this? How, who allowed this? Today, to the shock and amazement of both myself and probably everyone here in the audience, what an amazing little transformation that was. Despite the fact that this was called Extreme Makeover, this in like 2023 vision wasn't that extreme. She had a handful of procedures that resulted in an improvement for her wedding day. But my goodness, it just goes to show you, little tiny changes make such a massive overall difference to the big picture. This is what I really, I really try and advocate this for anyone who wants to get plastic surgery here on the Chanel or anyone who's watched my own plastic surgery journey. I always try and get it across that actually millimeters make massive amounts of difference. You don't need to always go for the most dramatic shift or the most dramatic change in order to get like results that you can be like overwhelmingly happy with for the rest of your life. And I feel like this episode shows that. I think it really shows that. Although I will say with Extreme Makeover, I would always love to get like a, a where are they now? What happened afterwards? We caught up with them five years on or something like this to see what happened, what the changes were, because I still feel like anything that has TV production or production agencies involved with it is still going to be some amount of like make believe, if you know what I mean. Like there was no recovery process there was no like oh she's struggling with this or that or oh there was potentially you know room for i don't know improvement in the healing of this that or the other there was none of that it was just literally in out shake it all about get married girls good heavens but my loves let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode of extreme makeover plastic surgery i need to keep this energy up because i've got a meeting very exciting and with that my loves it is time for the patreons you can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here my lovelies yes you can Today's Twitch shout out goes to TinyPunks433. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next videos, Twitch shout out. Come and follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my loves. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Dr. Dreamorella, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Orko Samoji, Andy Henry, Autumn Holly, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Camille Sara, Casey Donahue, Shell Herman, Christina Crownover, Christina Kyle, Connor, Con Contra points, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Danny Smith, Deborah Gwynn, Donuts for Life, Dr. A, Jevold, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jarrod Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Catherine Ritter, Lane Wade, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Mary Siren, Mazel Morel, Megan Holly, Min Min TM, Moisten 98, Mariah Sherman, Moldy Apple, Nadia Hamdi, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lilium, Rachel VC Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, 
Slampire Queen, Sushwa, Stefutech, Succubus Lena, Summer Neff, Travafol, Tromo, Victoria Corella, Zayanaza, and Zoe Zevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the notes of. If you're going to go for consultations for plastic surgeries, I have two rules. Explore minimally invasive procedures and make sure you get more than one opinion. And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next video. <gasps> yes. That was actually quite lovely. What's happening?